KVAT Studio. My name is Carla and today we're going to be doing something super special because officially today is the first day of fall and with that comes delicious treats, desserts and one of my favorite holidays, Halloween. So today we're going to be doing some Kauai pumpkin macaroons. They look super cool and they're going to be filled with a cream of pumpkin pie and they're delicious and super fun to make and I know you will love them so vamos a hacerlo and the things you will need for this project are your Kauai pumpkin template I'm gonna leave in the description box the link so you can download it and print it some frosting piping bag parchment paper your tip number 807 some cookie sheets gel colors in the colors white orange and black some fondants in the colors green and brown, and some brushes. The first thing we need to do is take your pumpkin kawaii template and trace it onto your parchment paper. When you're finished tracing it, you're gonna flip it and put it in the cookie sheet and set it aside. Now we can start making our macaroon recipe. And for that, you will need one and three fourths cups of powdered sugar, one cup of almond flour, three egg whites at room temperature, one fourth cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of allspice, and four drops of orange food color. Now let's start by sifting all of our dry ingredients. We want to do that because we don't want any lumps or any big chunks of almond in our mix, so that way our cookies are smooth and perfect on the surface. When you're finished sifting all your dry ingredients, any big chunks of almond, we're gonna take them out and then we're gonna take our egg whites that are room temperature and start mixing them in a dry and clean bowl. When your egg whites start getting fluffy and white like you see here, we can start adding the granular sugar slowly. Then when you finish adding all the sugar, you're gonna continue mixing until your mix comes shiny and in soft peaks like you see here. Then you can start adding the dry ingredients and folding them to the mix. When you're finished adding the last bit of your dry ingredients, we're gonna move it a little bit and then we're gonna add our orange food color. Then we're gonna continue mixing. The trick to this mix is that you don't undermix or overmix. So we wanna mix it until it becomes like a lava flow like you see here. Now we're gonna take our cookie mix and put it in a piping bag with our frosting tip number 807 and start piping our cookies. Now we're gonna pipe a little bit of the mix to the parchment paper, that way we make sure that our parchment stays put the whole way we're cooking our cookies. Then we're gonna start piping. I will recommend that you make your cookies a little bit smaller than the mark that you did because this dough spreads a little bit and that way it doesn't stick to another cookie. That happened to me so I don't want it to happen to you. Then you're gonna tap them on the table a little bit so any air bubbles get out and you're gonna let them rest for a few minutes. Now our cookies are resting, we can start making our pumpkin frosting. And for that you will need two cups of powdered sugar, four ounces of butter at room temperature, four ounces of cream cheese at room temperature, one fourth cup of pumpkin puree, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of allspice, and a pinch of salt. Now the first thing we need to do to make our frosting is make sure that your butter and your cream cheese is at room temperature and we can start mixing it. Then we can add our pumpkin puree and mix it a little bit more. Then you can add the spices. If you don't find the all spice, that's just a blend of different spices and you can have them like separate. It's just clove and nutmeg, all different spices. Then you can start mixing it and adding slowly the powdered sugar. When you finish adding the last bit of powdered sugar and your mix is creamy and velvety like you see here, it's ready so you can put it in the fridge while we wait for our cookies. I didn't tell you how much time to wait for your cookies to rest because it depends on the humidity and where you live. When you know that they're ready is when you touch them on the top and they don't stick to your fingers. 
Then you're gonna put it in a 340 degree oven for 17 minutes. Now we can start making the decorations. The decorations are super easy to make. First, you need to roll a little bit of green fondant and start cutting some leaf cuts. This is not a template or nothing like that. Just make sure that they're small enough to put in top of your cookie. Then with the same green fondant, we're gonna make little rolls to make the vines. Then you're gonna take a little bit of brown fondant and you're gonna roll it like a pear shape on your hand and it's gonna be the stem. Now to finish up, let's put our cookies together. The first thing we're gonna do is take our cookies out of the oven and let them cool completely before we can decorate or paint any faces to them. Then you can take the template that I leave on the description box. I have the links to both the templates to use for this project. That way you can print them out and you can have ideas of cute and beautiful faces you can decorate on your cookies. Then with some frosting you can start gluing the leaves and the vines and then you're gonna take a cookie that you didn't decorate at all and you're gonna put the frosting and put the stem that way it sticks to your cookie and then you put the cookie decorated on top. They look super cute and they're super fun to make. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoy making it for you. And hey, leave me a comment below and tell me what's your favorite part of fall. I would love to know. I hope you enjoy them. I love you so much and I see you next time. Bye-bye. And here you have the Don't Away Pumpkin Macaroons. I hope you enjoy them and if you do, please give me a big thumbs up if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.